Hello guys, welcome to my another tutorial on film effects. So today I'll be creating a tutorial on film effects flame drawer. Um, uh, hope you guys have watched the preview in my previous video. I have just published the preview. So if you have not watched yet, you can go back and I'll be providing a, a link on the description. You can just check the preview out there. <coughs> so today we'll be using film effects and particle flow inside 3ds max to create a cool looking flamethrower so let's begin up by setting up a particle system so there are two ways on creating the particle system one you can go to uh, space sorry uh, you can go to particle systems and create a pf source or the way I like is press the 6 key on your keyboard you'll have the particle view I think I already have something okay let me just reset it one more time. Okay, yes. And then press the 6 key, you'll have the particle view. So, since I have just reduced my uh, screen resolution for the record, it's really small space, but no problem. I can work on that. And then we can create our particle system from here. So, we have got different types of particle system from Edit New, Particle System, or right click, New particle system, preset flow, empty flow, standard flow and different types. So I'll be using a standard flow, okay? So this is the same as if you have created from here. So first thing what I'm gonna do is I don't need rotation so I'm going to delete it and then I won't be needing shape as well. Let me delete that. Okay. And then let me just set up my particle system so first of all let me select this and then just rotate it uh, 90 degree press A to angle snap it and then just move it a little up okay and then I'm gonna set my size select the PF source right here Oops, sorry render right here not here okay select the PF source and then choose the length and width I'll be using 10 by 10 okay uh, so I just want this to be quite smaller and then I'm gonna select my birth came uh, birth and then I want to emit stop it at 100 so I want this to run in the full time okay and then uh, I just don't want to use amount because I want to use the rate so that uh, the particles will emit at the rate of uh, certain that we assign as per time so I'll be using about 120 okay so that'll be we'll have enough amount of particle okay that's good then we'll go to render here okay there's no problem right there okay and then here I want to increase the view per percent to 100 let me go to position icon and then then I want to set the location to pivot so that the particles will emit from the center point okay then let me go to speed and then it's okay I come along I can arrow then I want to set up the speed to about let's say 70 so since I have already made it previously so I remember some of the settings so you can also play around with the settings to get something a little bit different so since I have made previously so I'm using almost kind of same values as I have done before so let me choose the variation to about let's say 9 and divergence to maybe about 12 okay okay these are almost the uh, around settings that I have used previously okay then I'm going to add another operator and that's gonna be delete operator and then delete okay so what's this gonna do is it's gonna delete our particles so let me not choose all particles but choose by particle is then you can see what's happening okay it's really long for now but you can see that after certain range of time the particles will start to disappear so you can see for now it's disappearing at about 60s so we can choose those settings so I'll be choosing the plus fan maybe about 12 so I don't want our fire to linger for too longer time so 
looks so good and maybe the variation let me reduce down the variation about eight okay so now that we have few particles bursting out so this gonna be our source for our flamethrower um, maybe it's um, looking quite good right now so we'll be if it's not good we'll be changing it a little later on we can change it whenever we want so now let us set up our film effects okay let me create our container quickly let me go to top view and manage my container a little bit better okay and then let me reduce the length okay and don't ever scale your container otherwise you will be messing up with your settings and you will not get the right settings so just increase or decrease your length and width from here okay and maybe from the for the height I want the height to be a little longer so because our flame will rise up at the end I think that's looking good and then let me create our particle source sorry helpers fume effects and then particle source okay. then we'll add our particles pf source to this particle source and then select our fume effects container go to film effects UI and then go to object source and add in our particle source okay hey okay, now let us have a quick preview on what we are going on okay so you can see that we have few fires bursting out so that's looking quite cool okay now I don't want any smoke to emit so I'll turn off simulate smoke sorry smoke <laughs> I'm pronouncing it a little wrong sorry for that okay now we can see that few of our fires are just separating it out so we don't want that so let me go to object source and then down here uh, this icon size, do size does not matter but the radius matters so I'm gonna increase the radius so that uh, you can see right here in the viewport as well this circle is increasing as I increase up the radius so if we increase this our fire is gonna be gonna burn out it won't separate out let's say like that okay now it's looking more better so uh, if you do a little high resolution sim you'll get it more nicely okay or maybe you can just increase it a little bit up as well okay let's look, let me do a little bit higher resolution sim okay maybe around here okay it'll take some time but we will just having a nice preview for now and that's only where after okay stop it now that our flame tour is looking quite good because the fuels bursting out our fire is uh, burning out and raising up so we just want to play around with some settings to create our fire look more good okay so we'll be going to simulation tab and then we'll play around with them. okay first of all uh, we'll play around with our X turbulence so we want our fire to be more turbulent so we'll use the settings of about 1.2 uh, and also I want to reduce down the maximum iteration down to 100 okay and then reduce the scale down I want our fire to be a lot turbulent so I'll scale to 1 and maybe frame to 1 as well and then I want our detail to be at 5 okay that's the maximum detail amount so I'll put bump that up to 5 okay then down at the simulate view uh, we want to reduce down the burn rate uh, let's say about 25 maybe so we are just bumping up some values and if it does not look good we can always change it back later on okay and I don't want to play around with expansion because I don't want our fire to explode out so let's have another quick preview okay it's looking good Let me stop it right here so our fire is um, kind of lingering too much upward so we want to control that so we want to increase up our burn rate so it will be at 30 it is good ok 
okay and let me see if we have got any other settings um, we can also increase up the vorticity up to one let's see what it looks like now hey so it's looking cool okay and other thing that we might uh, try on is okay we can go to the rendering tab for our look of the fire and then choose in the key mode for here and then play around with the gradient a little bit okay I want quite blacker right here okay and then added another one here this one again orangey color kind of okay and back here okay add in another one and black as well right in here as well sorry almost kind of this kind of color okay and this one I want it to be a little more brighter okay so you can just experiment a little bit with these color settings and get some really cool result okay okay it's not good at all so let me add in a darker color version right here as well okay and then oh sorry it's kind of greenish I don't want that okay and then I want it to be a little more yellowish. Okay, this one maybe kind of a dark will be good, I think. Okay, okay, and then this one again. I want to play around, so you just can just play around to get the perfect result. So, what you want, you can get around by just playing around with these settings kind of yellow is I want to add some yellow to this okay maybe for this one as well too much yellow okay so you can just play around get some more result and then also play around with these color values and then to the Opacity, I want to play around with these curves a bit. Okay. So get this down. Okay. So just play around on getting the perfect result, whatever you like. Okay. And we can maybe increase the opacity or decrease it and also decrease the color variations okay then let's have another preview so it's uh, getting quite nice so we have fire bursting out like looking cool okay so once that's done so you can if you don't like the result you can just bump up some value changes a uh, few around of on these values and have a look what it's gonna look like you can play around with your burn rate so maybe increase it up or decrease it down and so uh, if you really want to understand what these values actually does then you can check my basic tutorial on fume FX, um on YouTube so you'll get the uh, better understanding on what all these settings um, does uh, means and then uh, you can just create your own good looking flamethrower okay do another quick preview or let me do a little bit high resolution same oops that's too much okay maybe around this so I'll pause the video and come back after it has been finished simulating okay I've done about 37 frames simulation so it's taking quite long so I don't want to do that just stop it 
it's stopping okay so you can see that we have got our flamethrower it's looking nice okay once that you have done a high resolution scene you can just render your scene okay you can see that you can just maybe zoom in a bit or maybe go to front view sorry side view okay and then you can also do a quick render right here okay do a render okay so once that you have done high resolution same you can just render out all of your frames uh, in the desired quality you want and save out uh, image sequence uh, so you can just save your files into a maybe PNG sequence or maybe TIFF file okay you can just save them all and then let's say um, uh, if you're not happy oops sorry I don't want the range uh, I just want a single okay for now so if you're not happy with these color settings and, and if you are really tired on playing around with these colors you can just uh, s render the file then export it to or let's say import it into After Effects and then play around with some color gradings so that's what I did on actually on that preview I was also not quite happy with the color settings right here oh even now also I'm not happy too much <laughs> um, because it takes lots of time on playing around with these settings to get the exact settings that we want so I'll just uh, get a pretty basic idea of uh, fire colors on film effects then just import it into After Effects and then play around with some uh, uh, color corrections like um, curves or you can also duplicate these layers blur them and play around with uh, blending modes or you can also use Nuke or Fusion whatever you guys prefer so um, this is I think uh, end of this tutorial I hope you guys like it uh, so don't forget to subscribe and soon I'll be back with some more tutorials more great tutorials on film effects and 3ds max as well so if you guys have something in mind that you want to know or if you guys are facing some problems on any of the settings you can just hit on the comment I'll try to reply on my best mm. so thank you for I'll be back um, next time with some more exciting tutorial. So, till then, stay tuned. Have a good day. Bye bye.